Okay. Today I will discuss about plug and socket. Plug. Plug and socket. Just keep in mind only this is not a big thing or there just to understand. Plug and socket. Okay. At home, you must have seen plugs and sockets, different plugs, different sockets we have in the board. Sockets are the holes which are fitted on the board. On the electricity board, there will be holes over the electricity, these holes are there, these are called sockets. Maybe five, we have, sometimes we have only three pin socket like this. You must have seen it. These sockets yes, sir. internally are, these sockets are internally connected through wires. One may be live, live wire from the board is coming here, this will be connected to the neutral and this one will be connected to the earth. One will be live, one will be earth, one will be neutral, like this. If you have a three pin, but three pin socket can be changed into two pin socket. If you got a two pin plug, so only two pin, this two pin only will work, RC not needed then in that case. The upper Six pin is for the RC. Uh, like charging mobile phone and all, so two pin is okay. Why? So why? Huh? Why? Not in why it? We won't get shot no, in that case. Yes, because charger is fully made up of plastic body. Where is metal part? There is no metallic part. Then you can use it. Why earthing is needed for that? Your charger that uh, plug is fully made up of plastic body. So there is no, uh, I mean, chance of getting a shock when you touch it. So I think, why we, we need earthing? We don't need. We are, suppose, using a fan, using the plug and socket. So fan we don't touch. So why so we like, need earthing? Like sometimes also, so extension cord also. So light, wait, wait. Light, TV, like your refrigerator, expensive devices, and which we are handling, so there we go for three pins. They will always have three pins of it. Okay, now listen. Plug means the three pin no, pins which you go inside it, and plug will connect the appliance, the whatever appliance we want to use with this electric circuit, with this circuit, we will connect it, plug, through the plug we are connected. What is the advantage of plug and uh, socket system, what is the advantage, why do we use it? Because we use it, we use it for a portable device, portable devices. The devices whose position is not fixed, generally, uh, where we are going for this system? Your charging point, you can, you want to charge in this room, you have a charging point here. You want to change a charge in another room, you have a charging point there. Suppose you want to use uh, anything like uh, maybe, and uh, this one, electric lamp, uh, electric torch, electric lamp in one room, but suppose you want to shift it to the another room, this system is there so it's easily connect and you can use that, uh, this thing over there, it's very practical, very handy. You can't have a fixed switch and fixed, this one, no, the, the bulbs and all, they are, their position are, are fixed. So they are there for switch, fixed switches and all that. But this is quite handy, you know, so you, you can, you, if you want to use electric kettle, you can use it. If you want to use the charging uh, that adapter, put it there, remove that and put it there. So very handy, very useful in that sense. But they will not ask you all that is a general knowledge. Okay, now in three pin plug, the question is please listen and understand. In three pin plug, one pin is meant for one pin is meant for life. Other one is meant for neutral, and the another pin is meant for earthing. In case of three pin plug, I'm talking about. In case of two pin, 
Our thing is not there. Okay, our skin is not there. Out of the three pins, you must have noticed one of the pins is made longer and thicker. Yes, sir. Top one. Top one. Top one. Yes. The top one. Which pin is that? Our pin. Yes. Our pin. Our pin. We are saying our pin is made longer and thicker. What is the reason? Why are you making longer and thicker? Why not a pin size? So to gain more electricity. Why? Yes. So to gain more electricity. Electricity will pass easily. Through that. So to gain more electricity. Electricity will pass easily. From the other neutral and life. Melting point is high. High. Melting point is high. No, no, no. Melting point, melting will take place. Melting will stop there. At the live wire, no, you will stop. Not in the earth wire. Earth wire should not melt because the current directly goes to the earth only. So earth should melt in that case, which does not. Listen, it is made longer, which ensures the safety of the users at first. First, we are taking safety precautions. It is made longer so that if the arc pin first goes into the socket, which is meant for it, which ensures that if there is any leakage of current and all in the body, so person will not get a shock. It should go first. First, you must take a precaution. For that reason, it is made longer. And why it is made thicker? So that even by mistake, the earth pin should not enter into any other two holes which are not meant for it. Which are not for it. But it's not going to happen in the shock. Have you understood? First of all, before you use any appliance, you must see the, you must take precautions. You must ensure that the uh, device is safe for the users. Am I right or wrong? So that way the first you are when it is longer, it first goes into its hole. Then the other two. Then the other two. Always the earth will will go at first. Please mute because it's echoing. Oh, I will get shock. Oh, I will get shock. Huh? So that means the uh, so robber will be no dead. The robber will be no dead. That is the cool. What yeah. robber will be there? Come on. Come on. You have no common sense only. Listen. Stop. Listen. Listen. Big news. News. Your voice trouble. Mute. Voice trouble. Voice trouble. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Listen. Yes. If the by chance art pin is not going inside. Earth pin is not going inside, and your other two pins are gone inside. If it is not longer, I am saying that, or rather it is of same size or it is shorter. So, current will be flowing, start flowing in the appliance. This is the appliance, current will flow here, and when you will get a shock. But when the earth pin goes first, that means this appliance is already, earth pin is first. Precaution is first. So, now the current will, if any current is leaking in the metallic part of the body, then the person will not receive a shock. So, first you are taking the precautions. Yes, and by the way, if they ask this person, no, which part of the appliance is earth? Which part of the appliance is earth? We say only metallic part of the appliance is earth. Not the other part, not the internal parts. Only the metallic part of the appliance is earth. Where there is a chance of getting a shock by touching it. So, our spin is made longer, which ensures the safety of the user at first. And it is made thicker so that even by mistake, it must not enter or it must not to or fit into the other two sockets, which are not meant for it. By chance, just imagine, it is of same size, it's not thick. 
because of thickness so it will not fit into any other socket lower socket will never fit because the size is bigger by chance size i mean the diameter you are keeping the same thickness you are keeping the same then it may go into the other socket if it goes into the other socket the problem will be suppose if it goes into the live wire what the entire live wire current will go to the earth that the appliance will not work appliance will not receive any current and by chance if it goes into the neutral socket this socket neutral socket so what will happen the current will run in the appliance and go to the earth then what is the use of earth thing current is running in the metallic part of the body and person testing the appliance will be receiving a shock so what is the use so of earth thing then if the earth thing wire goes into neutral wire if the earth thing i'm saying if the earth thing goes into the neutral wire i'm talking about the pin not the wire earth pin earth pin of the appliance is going into the neutral wire that means the metallic part will receive current so what is the use of earth pin then that's why it is made thicker so that even by mistake it must not fit into the other two holes then okay this topic is done so we ask very often this question in a three pin plug which of the pin is made longer and thicker you say earth pin and why it longer it is made longer to ensure the safety of the users at first and uh, it is made thicker so that even by mistake it must not fit into the other two sockets which are not meant for it okay now i'm talking about the other aspect now listen we have three types of wire you can i have same cable wires as i told you in the beginning only cable wires there are three types one is light one is neutral one is earth so you can write a color code you can write a color code color code color code of cable wires color code transmission of electricity or transmission of electrical power in a circuit so we have three types live neutral and the earth from the colors we identify them live wire new color code if you do new you can write a new color code new color code of cable wires new color code live wire can you guess what is the color used for identifying the live wire do you know red 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 for so neutral for so neutral black huh? black blue black. blue blue light blue red light for the end wall Black. Green, yeah. green or yellow? Green or yellow? Green. Okay. Green. 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 Green not acceptable now we have to always follow the new new color code and the new color code is live will be brown live wire is identified by brown color brown colored wire will be live neutral has light blue color light blue light blue and the earth will have green or yellow green or yellow So this is the new color code of cable wire new color coding it's colorful okay green and so blue color, color code sorry earth wire all huh? it is can we get earth wire green also yellow also or green is old yellow yeah, is the new either of the color can be used 
either of the color can be used either green or yellow so this, this is a new color code of cable wire okay this is done now one thing to no, be noted or to be known that out of the three cable wires two of the wires have same potential and their potential is zero these two from the power station they are having the potential of zero volt zero volt neutral and the earth zero volt you can write in what other words you can say zero volt zero volt please mute mute your and you are doing some talking on there neutral and the earth are kept at the same potential in the pole in the transmission wire channel when the power station is transmitting the power to the two of the wires are kept at the same potential and their potential is zero volt okay yes sir done okay yes right. sir no with this information this chapter is done this was the last part of this chapter which we finished okay this much is your reduced syllabus in the book they have given uh, stair case with dual switch high tension wires are all given but it is not now in the syllabus it has been reduced the syllabus so you need not to learn this okay now we are doing new chapter okay the name of the new chapter is electromagnetism please give the heading this is slightly confusing chapter but be very careful and alert then you can understand the chapter well the chapter is electromagnetism i'll just introduce you the chapter today and the next class we continue okay boys whatever we are doing are you making notes of it yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. please make please make a good note entire information okay something making the note in short so please do make notes in an elaborated form that will help you only okay while studying while revising and all notes so you will have the entire information with you and by chance we have forgotten something and all so please watch the recording okay watch the recording don't refer to the pdf uh, sent on the website they may have less information but if you want to you know the entire speech or the entire thing taught you can see once again and you think that wherever you have missed out certain points and all you can note it down again all the chapters are there no in the recordings are there i mean in the online classes okay first three chapters i think we did offline so those notes you already have i expect but for online classes from here it make good note of it eh? all details so we are doing electromagnetism and i am very happy that some boys are really watching the recording and we are concentrating on the lessons well and we are having some uh, points to be pointed out and all i am very happy about it okay you people are doing well some of you only only few of you please watch it entirely and completely and try to understand okay everything is there only available okay now we are doing the next chapter electromagnetism after this we have two more chapters to go with the syllabus is over okay and the idea is what is the meaning of this electro electro means electricity and magnetism electricity is causing magnetism electricity means current uh, current can do two things in a conductor what two things it can do it can produce heat in the conductor 
and it can produce magnetic field magnetic field around the conductor the outside but around the conductor that is called electromagnetism whenever current causes magnetic effect produces a magnetic field the phenomenon is called electromagnetism electromagnetic electricity and magnetism we are getting magnetic properties by way of electricity and it is much more useful than the natural magnet natural magnets are very less in the nature and you have to keep looking for it not available no not easily available but this one current is easily available whenever we need a magnetic effect or magnetic field anywhere we can go for this electromagnet we can supply current and have the electricity available that's why in most of the electrical devices where we need a magnet uh, there we are not using natural magnet but we are using electromagnet the magnet made by made on this principle electromagnetism today i am just introducing to you the chapter okay then from next class onwards we will be doing the details okay then one thing to be noted the heat is produced in the conductor but the magnetic field is produced around the conductor outside all around all around that is in the form of circle in the form of circle it is formed if the wire is there the circle will come like this this way the circle will come if the wire is this this also the circle will come like this if the wire is this way the circle will come like this i mean this way the magnetic field will be in the form of a circle here yeah, like this so name the first question comes name the effect of force sorry name the effect of current flowing through a conductor we say heating in the conductor portion say name the effect of current produced around the conductor flowing current what is answer magnetism magnetic effect magnetism magnetic effect yes yes you can say magnetic effect you can say magnetism or you can say it is a magnetic field it's all correct all correct okay so all right Um, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Can be. Yes. So we will be learning about electric motor also. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. You will learn about. I tell you, in, in this chapter, no, you got three things to learn. Okay. First sir. one is electromagnet. Okay, how we make an electric. Uh. Second thing, you will learn yes. about the motor. Motor. This one. Why? Uh, what is the working principle of motor? How does the motor work? when you supply current the motor is starts rotating why it rotates and all you will get know the reason and the third thing you will learn here in this chapter is generator or dynamo which generates electricity you know which generates current about that you will learn generator okay. sir generator uh, generator dynamo full energy no yeah yeah generator changes mechanical energy to the electrical energy about that you will be learning in this chapter i do this and you will learn about one more thing that is called transformer or stabilizer voltage stabilizer which we are using at home about that also you will learn did you get the idea what you are going to learn in this chapter yes sir yes sir interesting chapter tell me what are the things you are going to learn tell sir tell me from beginning tell me electric stabilizer इलेक्ट्रोमैटिकोटर and i will teach you one by one all right 
Yes, yes, sir. sir. Okay. So today I just introduce it. So from next class onwards, we will be doing the details of it. Okay.